the entrance antiphon. O chosen people, proclaim the mighty works of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. It's an exciting day in the Church of St. Louis today. We have the ordination of two new priests this morning at 10 a.m. And it's also Archbishop Carlson's 50th anniversary as a priest. So as we come to this Mass, let's just take a moment and call to mind our sins, ask God for his mercy and forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you suffered and died so that we might have eternal life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you send the Holy Spirit to guide us on the way to the kingdom. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Jesus, you are the way, the truth, and the life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, whose Son at his ascension into the heavens was pleased to promise the Holy Spirit to the apostles, grant, we pray, that just as they received manifold gifts of heavenly teaching, so on us too you may bestow spiritual gifts. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After staying in Antioch for some time, Paul left and traveled in orderly sequence through the Galatian country and Phrygia, bringing strength to all the disciples. A Jew named Apollos, a native of Alexandria, an eloquent speaker, arrived in Ephesus. He was an authority on the scriptures. He had been instructed in the way of the Lord and with ardent spirit spoke and taught accurately about Jesus, although he knew only the baptism of John. He began to speak boldly in the synagogue, but when Priscilla and Aquila heard him, they took him aside and explained to him the way of God more accurately. And when he wanted to cross to Achaia, the brothers encouraged him and wrote to the disciples there to welcome him. After his arrival, he gave great assistance to those who had come to believe through grace. He vigorously refuted the Jews in public, establishing from the scriptures that Christ is Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God is king of all the earth. All you peoples, clap your hands, shout to God with joys, with cries of gladness. For the Lord, the Most High, the Awesome, is the great King over all the earth. God is King of all the earth. For the King of all the earth is God. Sing hymns of praise. God reigns over the nations. God sits upon his holy throne. God is King of all the earth. The princes of the peoples are gathered together with the, with the people of the God of Abraham. For gods are the guardians of the earth. He is supreme. God is king of all the earth. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, Amen, amen, I say to you, whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give you. Until now you have not asked anything in my name. Ask and you will receive, so that your joy may be complete. I have told you this in figures of speech. The hour is coming when I will no longer speak to you in figures, but I will tell you clearly about the Father. 
On that day you will ask in my name, and I do not tell you that I will ask the Father for you, for the Father himself loves you, because you have loved me and have come to believe that I came from God. I came from the Father and have come into the world. Now I am leaving the world and going back to the Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Two brief thoughts completely separate from each other. Um, first, in our first reading, we hear of Apollos, but also how uh, Priscilla and Aquila made a little fraternal correction with him. He's a, a Jew who is zealous in proclaiming the gospel, except for he only knows of the baptism of John. So Priscilla and Aquila, not publicly, but privately say, hey, could we talk to you a little bit? And they educate him even more for even further and then he goes out with even greater zeal proclaiming the gospel I think that's a great way of of just looking at different situations in our life whether we're looking at other um, God-fearing people in our society sometimes we can look out and say well they're not on our Catholic team so they kind of have to be against us right no like we're all on the same team here but it's our job as friends, as their companions, to like, let's discuss your beliefs and let's uh, talk about this so we can come to greater truth and proclaim the fullness of what we have received. First thought. Second thought. In the gospel today, we hear Jesus tell us these words, For the Father himself loves you, because you have loved me and come to believe that I came from God. I don't know if this is just my own prayer life, but sometimes the Father in heaven, God the Father, is a little scary. And uh, I don't first think that it's God the Father loving me as the first attribute. And I don't know, maybe it's uh, God the Father up here. He looks with the big hands. I'm watching you. But to hear Jesus say in our gospel today, the Father loves you. Um, I think it's something important for all of us to pray about. The Father isn't that Old Testament angry God we hear about, but the Father is also the loving Father, that we are his sons and daughters, and there's no greater identity we have than being his children. And turning to the Father who loves us, let us offer to him our petitions. For those discerning a vocation in the church, may God grant them wisdom and understanding. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For governments and political leaders, may the Holy Spirit lead them in service to their communities, countries, and the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are grieving the loss of a loved one, May the joy and hope of the resurrection bring them solace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the newly baptized, may they may the Holy Spirit continue to bring them ever closer to God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the faithful departed, especially for Peggy O'Hara, for whom this Mass is being offered, may they joy, enjoy eternity in heaven with the risen Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let's take a moment to offer our own personal intentions to God. And for these, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, please hear our prayers. Look upon us with great love, for we make our prayers through Jesus, your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us eternal, an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to loud you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body of and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Robert, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray 
that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. communion antiphon. Father, I wish that where I am, those you gave me may also be with me, that they may see the glory that you gave me. Alleluia.
This morning, our spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. Uh, we'll have confessions like normal right after Mass. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God.